Hey there. All right, back to the lesson book. Oh, solo mio. Maybe we'll throw in the pedal today. <laughs> Maybe. I wasn't ready. Still absolutely working on notes and fingerings and all that, but <clears throat> I want to put the I want to put the pedal in because it, it will make it sound better, make it a little more tolerable. <clears throat> and it's it is it, it is a little uh, an additional thing I need to be able to do anyway, so it will make things a little more difficult to begin with because I have to pay attention to when I put the pedal down, when I lift the pedal, etc. Um, and so that's something else I have to, to uh, pay attention to.
this arpeggio because <clears throat> it has to be a little bit quicker and a whole lot smoother. So, I think that's a good pace. Now, if I turn the click on, it's a whole lot faster. Even, well, let's try it. Let's go all the way down to the bottom of moderately slow. So, 76. <clears throat> and of course, the first three chords here are uh, fermata. So, um, there is no timing really, but with the click, I kind of the the rule of thumb is you just double the written value. So these are quarter notes, so I'm going to play them for half notes and hoorah. Anyway, helps if you play the right ones. <clears throat> messing with me and I guess 76 is about where I want it to be I was thinking it was still going to be too fast but it just it comes it comes down to I'm not yet comfortable with a kind of a forced pace or a forced tempo because if I'm playing without a click I can just hold the note a little bit longer the chord or whatever a little bit longer until I figure out where the next one is but with the click, I have to keep going. So that makes it a little more challenging. Anyway, <laughs> so start over. because it just messes with it way too much. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I'm, we're getting there. We're making some progress. We're not done yet. We still got like five minutes. Now, the issue that I have is... <clears throat> 
I'm not playing it at forte, and it is written at forte. So I need to, it needs to be. There is a definite difference um, between what I'm playing it, which is closer to um, piano, maybe even mezzo piano, so soft or you know, kind of soft, moderately soft, as as opposed to uh, forte, and especially with the pedal, because then it, everything kind of keeps ringing for a long, long time. But I guess I really I need to I need to play it as written. Really, I do. is a crescendo so we're still at forte we're at forte all the way through all the way through um, on the first repeat we do a diminuendo over the last three bars and then we're, again we come back to the beginning we're at forte forte all the way through and then on the second repeat or the end here we're still at forte even though we're doing a retardando for the whatever bar this is the forth from the end and then there's a crescendo so from forte we have to get louder for this measure well for the first half of this measure and then another diminuendo to kind of end the song so that is definitely something I'm gonna have to work on um, I really think I kind of like the piano because it's easier to cover up mistakes and I'm still making lots of mistakes, but, uh, excuse me, at Forte, it, it sounds good too. It just, it sounds different. Um, and it, and it forces me to, uh, acknowledge my mistakes, I guess, because it's a little bit harder to hide them. <laughs> Anyway, that'll do it for the lesson book for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Hoorah.